That's loud. OK. Um, yeah, so let's get started here. We want to talk about um, SSL and SEO. I think uh, Ryan did a good job kind of uh, introducing me a little bit. Um, but <clears throat> a little bit on my background. So um, at Digicert, I help with a lot of strategic initiatives, a lot of the engineering oversight, um, a lot of the partner channel oversight, um, kind of help with new product, uh, some of the mergers and acquisition stuff. I've uh, been in the industry, in the security industry, for about 10 years. Um, I started a company about um, eight years ago, sold that to a company called Trustwave, and I helped them with um, PCI data security compliance, so credit card processing and point-to-point -point encryption between payment providers and things like that. Um, but at the same time, I helped them grow their SSL business, which is what Digicert does, and here to talk to you about some of that. Um, so Digicert, if you guys are unfamiliar, is a, a you know, SSL certification authority. So any websites you see with HTTPS on it, um, we issue those certificates, we validate those entities and, and provide the certificates to them, um, as well as you know, authentication certificates, um, you know, different types of uh, cryptographic authentication. We, we do a variety of things beyond that. Um, <clears throat> so you know, we participate with authentication between Internet of Things, so you know, refrigerators and digital uh, security systems on houses talking back to places, things like that. Um, Wi-Fi, so there's new Wi-Fi partnerships and alliances going on where you're going to be able to roam with Wi-Fi all over the world. We're helping out with that. So we do a lot of cool things in kind of the cryptographic space and help um, make sure it's secure so that those transactions work everywhere. <clears throat> so this is exciting to me because um, I have a SEO background, probably not as deep as you folks, but um, it's a small passion of mine as well. Um, Digicert, however, it's been a very large passion. So Digicert, when they first got started, they were actually a reseller of SSL certificates for another company. Um, and they kind of started out in like a hosting space and helping people. And what they noticed really quickly was if they could provide really good customer support, that was a huge differentiator and they could issue things quite quickly. But then they could use SEO, you know, this is 10 years ago, they could use SEO practices to sell a lot more stuff online. And so they really started to develop some interesting SEO tactics, the early founders of the company, and they, they just sprung the company out and, and did huge. Um, and so they really grew um, a pretty uh, large retail business that is based off search engine marketing and search engine optimization. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. So we care about it a whole lot. We have a dedicated team, um, as Ryan was saying, that works on this. And um, it contributes to a significant portion of our revenue. So we're here tonight to talk about Google loving HTTPS. So if you guys haven't seen this, um, you know, Ryan was kind of talking about it. They did an announcement <clears throat> that now there's going to be a search engine boost um, for HTTPS being everywhere. So customers having digital certificates on their domains, protecting that site, protecting the traffic that goes in between it. Um, and so it's interesting because having a security background like I do and, and a small SEO background, um, tonight we kind of merge and intersect our interests. Um, and with you know, when you're, when you're working in SEO, it's definitely um, a journey and not a destination. There's, you know, you never complete, you never have it finished. You're always working to get to the next step, and Google goes and changes something called Panda, and all kinds of things happen. Um, so it's, you're always moving and always changing. In security, it's the same thing. We're, out, we're doing the same thing in our industry. We're out constantly moving, constantly changing, trying to keep up with the bad guys and, and changing our strategies for how we do things, too. Um, and so it's actually pretty exciting tonight that we can talk about how SSL and SEO finally kind of share the same space in the world. And I think when you look at why Google chose to do this um, and make this announcement, you know, Edward Snowden and everything that happens with that and interception of data and, you know, bad, you know, government players and <laughs> all the things that happen, um, you know, that's probably the unofficial reason why Google is pushing this. The more official reason, you guys can kind of read here. Um, but really, you know, Google's been known for having uh, a strong desire to protect websites and protect data and protect customer information. And, and they have been a pretty good um, example in the industry of trying to do that for people. So, you know, this kind of fits with their, their standard mode of operation here of, of trying to things, make things more secure. 
So, you know, why SSL for SEO? Um, you know, Google kind of calls it um, HTTPS everywhere. Others kind of call it always on SSL. Um, but it's, you know, the Online Trust Alliance, which is an organization for providing authentication and, and online trust, like they say, and, and watching over that and making sure things work. And Microsoft, they've been touting this for a while. They've been telling people, you need to secure your websites. You need to make everything encrypted. You need to make sure that everything's communicating properly. Um, and there's a lot of people that have already switched and done this. You know, so we got a list up here, Google, Twitter, Facebook, Microsoft, PayPal. They have switched to um, SSL everywhere. Um, and in fact, as being a SSL CA, you know, somebody who creates these certs, we were part of when Facebook flipped over and did that. And the amount of traffic we saw, because we have to um, respond to every web browser that goes to a Facebook URL and say if that certificate is valid or not, that's part of the business we do. Um, the night that they switched over, they forgot to tell us. <laughs> so DigiCert employees running into the office, you know, 3 a.m., what's going on? Facebook is down. And, and uh, you know, so, you know, I guess it, it's very interesting because as people do these things and switch and, and you know, large organizations start to use this stuff, it taxes pieces of the internet infrastructure a lot of people don't think about. And, um, you know, so we participated in that. Obviously, we got things fixed up, got them all working, everything's cool. But, you know, it's, a, it's interesting to see that kind of stuff happen. Um, so really, when you look at, you know, why um, HTTPS is there, it's for encrypting the data, it's for making sure that when users come to those websites and post information, even if it's just address information, like on a Realtor website, or if it's actual secure information like credit card data, I mean, we all know you want to have a certificate there. But, you know, when somebody's sitting in a coffee shop, they can do what's called a man-in-the-middle attack, and they can basically get on a Wi-Fi connection, intercept data if you're not encrypting it, pull everything out for everybody that's in the coffee shop and gather it. So it's, you know, it's pretty threatening, and you can do these things. <clears throat> so I think here's another interesting quote, and it kind of, you know, obviously Google's kind of the behemoth here, but it kind of adds some of the credibility to Google, is that, um, you know, every, every single customer wants to rank. Uh, that's why we have businesses here. And so now that we have something where we can do as simple a task as get them an SSL certificate on that domain, and it's going to offer them a, an advantage, especially early on right now, over their competition, it's something that we can pretty easily do. Um, and so we'll talk about how we can help. Um, we've gone through this process ourselves. We've helped others go through this process um, to get HTTPS everywhere. Now there's a driver and a reason to do it for all of you. Um, so we're going to kind of talk about some of those lessons we learned in doing that. <clears throat> so really, we kind of got the heads up um, early in March that um, Google was leaning towards HTTPS everywhere. And so just with that bit of a hint, we said, okay, let's go explore this and let's go, let's go see what that would mean for us. Um, since we have such a, a strong business that's based on search engine marketing, search engine optimization, huge amount of our revenue coming from that, we wanted to test this early and, and see what was going on. Um, so really before this announcement happened, before people were concerned with it, we were digging in and we were trying to figure out how we can make our site work, um, how we could keep our, our search ranks up, um, keep, you know, keyword rank up, um, and transition everything over to SSL. <clears throat> so we ended up splitting it up into kind of two initial tests. We took a low-level um, kind of internal page on our site, and, you know, it was a very low keyword competition on there, but it was safe. <laughs> you know, if we screwed this one up, yeah, it wouldn't break the bank. It wouldn't make it a bad month, right? Um, but it was important enough that we could measure it. We had enough traffic coming to it and everything. Um, and so really what we did is move that page over, and then we saw a 15% average improvement on that page. And so now we were, our interest was peaked. All right, we moved this over to SSL. We did some things we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but we didn't see any, ne any negative ex um, experiences, which was awesome. So then we took a page that was kind of more our marquee page. And so it was a very high keyword competition page. Um, people are paying crazy amounts of money to compete on these, this keyword. Um, and you know, typically, we're ranking number one, number two position for that keyword. <clears throat> Done a lot of work to get that rank. And made the switch, saw no decrease in position, no negative effects, no traffic drop off or anything. So this was very encouraging. This was you know, back March, you know, January, February, March, April. Time frame, and you know, so we measured everything, had everything, everything in track, 
And so we were very excited about this. And um, we're very close now to switching all assets over. So, you know, we're an agile little company, 100-something employees, but we've got a lot of other things to do besides just switch the site over, you know? Um, but we're getting pretty close to having everything HTTPS, even ourselves now, okay? It's kind of full disclosure there. We're not all the way there yet. Um, so in migrating that, um, what's interesting is we learned a lot of things. Um, we learned about, um, you know, different, uh, you know, like uh, canonical um, URLs inside of the pages, making sure those were in place. We learned about um, 301 redirects from the old pages, making sure the sitemaps were updated, you know, kind of doing all this block and tackling that everybody's used to, um, but really making sure that was all in place, and then static assets, right, making sure that they were linking off secure servers and there was certs for those, um, and then watching out for mixed content, right? So websites that were loading things from non-secure resources but were presented in a secure way over a, a certificate, making sure that wasn't happening and cleaning that kind of stuff up. So, you know, it was a bit of a process and, and that's something we can help you guys with and understand. And so we actually created a tool, um, which we'll kind of show you some screenshots of tonight and you guys can all sign up and use it too, um, to kind of help and automate some of these things, some of these things we run into. Because the certificate process, the SSL process, and configuration of it, it's all confusing. That's why we make money. People pay us to do that nonsense. Um, but when it intersects with SEO and you start looking at keyword rank and position and the configuration of what you're trying to do there, you know, that's something we've done in-house. And so we kind of turned it into something where you guys can all use it, point it at your customers' sites, your customers' keywords, and figure out um, how to help them do this. So we call it the DigiCert Always On SSL site checker, and I'll have a URL here in a minute. Um, but basically, you can kind of see up here, um, we have you know, three basic areas, a keyword analysis, page analysis, and then a server details. And server details is, is really the geeky one. It's kind of more for the IT guy. It shows you all the certificate information, if it's configured properly, all that. That's not the interesting one for you. The keyword analysis is probably the most interesting. And that's where you can plug in any domain name you want, and then plug in keyword, keywords that are interesting to you for that domain. Um, that you're you know, trying to see what the search rank is. And when you do that, you know, it'll run, it'll go, find all that information, um, pull it back, and it'll tell you if that domain has HTTPS on it or not, and if it's properly configured, which is also very important. Google's going to ding you if it's not properly configured. Um, and then it'll tell you how to configure it properly if it's not. Um, and then it will show you where that domain you're interested in ranks within the top 100 search results. Um, and then it'll tell you how many of those top 100 search results are HTTPS currently. And so that's interesting too, because then you can kind of look at that and see against the competition for that keyword, for that space you're trying to optimize for, how much SSL is actually coming into there, um, which is pretty cool. So it'll pull that back, show you, you know, change you know, week to week on these things, um, but also you can download these results, pull this data down, um, and share it with your customers. And, you know, have some value add there, right? So you can pull this information down and, and track this over time and do things with it. We also then have a page analysis, which is um, a little bit different in that you can actually put in an individual page, a landing page, um, or you can put the path to the sitemap XML file. And we'll pull that down if it's the sitemap XML. We'll crawl the entire site. And we'll look at that from a security perspective and SEO perspective with this intersection of this Google change. How does it all work? And so we'll present a page-by-page -page analysis as it completes, like you can see here, where it'll show you for this URL, again, is the HTTP configured properly? Um, and if it's not, here's what you need to do to change it. Um, interestingly, we will also say, does this page have an HTML form on it? Um, you know, a lot of smaller customers, you know, like exterminators and, and kind of local businesses, they'll have forms and oftentimes they won't even have SSL on it because um, they're just thinking, well, I'm collecting people's phone numbers and email addresses and things, who cares? This will actually flag it for you and show you as it crawls through that whole site, hey, it'll tell you there's a form there and it's, it's being submitted um, without SSL on that domain or at the endpoint where it's being submitted to. So it'll give you a nice flag where you can go tell the customer, hey, Google's actually going to ding you for this because it's not working correctly. Um, and then the last check is to look at that page and see that, that mixed content check. And that's the hardest one to actually detect because you have to do it in a browser and it's all crazy. Um, but we automate that for you. So we look at the page and see if it has secure, uh, secure resources loading with insecure resources simultaneously. What that really means to the end users when they navigate to the browser, 
the padlock, the green bar, the security symbols, they won't display if there's mixed content. And Google also won't rank it as high because uh, the SSL is misconfigured in their mind. So that's a really strong indicator on a page to tell you in an automated fashion if it has mixed content or not. Okay? Um, and then again, with this one, after you get this data, you can download it all and have it in batch, and then you can use that and share that and, and do what you need to do. So this SSL site checker is located at digicert.com slash HTTPS. Um, you can go case insensitive there if you like. Um, right now, there is a form there where you can sign up, uh, ask you for, I think, just an email and a name, um, and then we'll let you into the tool, and you can use everything that we see here um, to do this for your sites and for your customers. Um, so really, this tool is trying to automate these processes, and the tools are really designed so you guys can kind of be self-service and do this on behalf of customers and you know, maybe research you want to collect and do. But as an organization, we're committed to this and we're doing additional things that'll be coming soon. Um, so if anybody would like to do things that are maybe in batch or larger you know, lists of domains or larger lists of keywords or something, definitely talk to us. We can help facilitate that. Um, I'd hate to have somebody sitting here putting in 50,000 keywords <laughs> and 100 domains all night and sweating. You know, it's not going to be fun. So we can help with that if, if you need it. Um, so really, that's kind of the, the whole thing we wanted to talk about, right? So SSL. Um, Google did this big change. It now makes our two worlds collide. Um, and so we have a, a good reason to be talking. Um, as you guys are looking to help people understand this and to help them with PageRank by getting their sites secure, um, you know, Digicert, as well as many other certificate authorities out there, we help people do this. We work with them. Um, we can partner with you, help you actually make some money on those certificates if you want to resell them from us, or just help you get them configured if you want us to help with that too. So, it's definitely something that we can assist, and me and other DigiCert folks will be here tonight. So after this is all done, if you want to talk, just come grab our ear, and we can give you some more information about it. Okay?